Jehovah Yeshua HaMashiach saves. This, today I'm reading from the second chapter of the book of Isaiah in the Dead Sea Scrolls Bible. His name in Hebrew, Yeshayahu, is means Jehovah saves. It's very interesting that we find that there are images, there are types in the Bible. We have Moses being a deliverer of the children of Israel and promising another prophet like him. We read in Deuteronomy about another prophet like him. Yet there were many prophets raised up before the coming of the Messiah of whom he spoke. After Moses, there was one that Moses gave the name Yahashua, and meaning Jehovah saves, which putting the name of a father at the end of the name, we have the name of the prophet that we read today, Yeshua. Yeah, I'm going to sometime I'm going to declare the name of Jehovah where the publisher had neglected and filed the prohibition to put Lord. So other than that, this is the oldest this is from a witness of the oldest scroll of Isaiah from Jehovah, hallelujah. From Yeshayahu, the Dead Sea Scrolls were recorded long before the Masoretic text that came uh, relatively few centuries ago. In chapter 2, we find that there are less verses in chapter 2 from the Dead Sea Scrolls than there were in the Masoretic text because there was a couple of verses that were added that we could be a stumbling block for some because they were nationalistic. They were against uh, the Gentiles. The Masoretes were uh, Pharisees, the rabbis, that Pharisaic rabbis uh, that were trying to have an exclusive club. But salvation came for all nations, as the prophet declared. So I'm going to, without any further ado, this is chapter 2 from the Dead Sea Scrolls Bible. The scroll of Isaiah. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of Jehovah's house shall be established above mountains, and he shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall bow, all nations shall flow over it. Many people shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the house of the God of Jacob, so they may teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion goes forth instruction, and the word of Jehovah from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and give judgment for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. And nations will not lift up sword against nation, nor will they learn war anymore. House of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of Jehovah. Indeed, you have abandoned your people, the house of Jacob, because they are filled with practices from the east, and are soothsayers like the Philistines. They shake hands with the children of foreigners. Their land is full of silver and gold, and there is no limit to the treasures. Their land is full of horses, and there is no end to their chariots. Their land is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands, that which their fingers have made. But humanity, shall, humanity will be humbled and a mortal, and a mortal brought low. And the haughty look of mankind will be brought low, and human pride will be abased. 
and Jehovah alone will be exalted on that day. Indeed, Jehovah the Sabbath will have his day against all that is proud and haughty and lifted up, and it will be brought low against all the cedars of Lebanon tall and lofty, and against all the oaks of Bashan, against all the high mountains, and against all the lofty hills, against every tall tower, and against every fortified wall, against all the tar ships, ships, against all the stately vessels. The haughtiness of humanity will be humbled, and human pride will be brought low. Jehovah alone will be exalted on that day. The idols will totally vanish. People will go into caves in the rocks and into the holes in the earth before the terror of Jehovah and before the glory of his majesty when he rises up to terrify the earth. On that day, humans will throw away to the bowls and bats their idols of silver and their idols of gold, which their fingers have made to worship. They will go into the crevice in the rocks and into the cracks in the cliffs before the terror of the Lord and before the glory of His majesty when He rises to terrify the earth. And that's where the scroll of Isaiah ended before later scribes added to it. Blessed be the reading of the word of Jehovah through his faithful prophet.